Hey guys, Chris from Adaptuation here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 3 from the Jan 2022 PUA Paper 1. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. So as per usual, we're going to take a read of the information. It says Patches Enterprises provided the following information regarding two non-current assets. So it says here, non-current assets, the first one, second one, first one is equipment, second one is motor vehicle. So we have the cost price of each of them, 18,005 for the equipment and 80,000 for the motor vehicle. So first may, now just, just so you know, uh, there is clearly an, an error in the question. It says here, and I'll show you, right? It says first May 2021. And then when it comes to what they want us to do down here, which is calculate the annual depreciation charge for equipment for the year ended 30th April 2021 in the books of Patches Enterprises. So if you buy something on the 1st of May 2021, 30th of April 2021 is the day before. So that's what they're asking us to do. It doesn't make any sense unless there was an error. So I think the error was here, that it should be 1st May 2020. Either that or if 1st May 2021 is correct, it should say 30th April 2022. But the custom, I believe, with CSEC and its papers is that they never put a date in the future on any paper. So this was the Jan 2022 paper. So there'll be nothing, there'll be no dates past that on that paper. So given that, and if we assume that, then 30th April 2022 wouldn't appear on the paper. So we're going to assume once again that the error was here and it should have said 1st May 2020. And that's going to, of course, make this make a little more sense. So calculate the annual depreciation charge for equipment for the year ended 30th April 2021 in the books of Patches Enterprises. So let's take a look at the information for the equipment. So the cost price is 18500 The purchase date is the 1st of May 2020. And the depreciation policy, what does it say? It says that equipment is to be depreciated over a four-year period using a straight line method and the expected scrap value at the end of its useful life is $500. So we have a straight line method of depreciation. So we know the formula is the cost minus the scrap value divided by the estimated useful life. That's the number of years for which we expect the asset to be of use, which is four years. So let's take a look at the working. So again, they gave you space on the paper, but because I'm working in Excel, I like to do a statement format. So as you can see, it says Patches Enterprises, calculation depreciation charge for the year ended 30th April 2021, straight line method. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the cost, which is 18500 as we can see in the information above. Uh, we're going to minus the scrap value, which is 500 That's going to give us 18000 which is something called the depreciable base, the total value which we expect to depreciate. Now we're going to divide that by the estimated useful life, which is four years, and we are going to get the annual depreciation charge, which is 4,500 per year. And that is what they wanted us to do, find the annual depreciation charge for equipment, right? And of course, it doesn't matter which year, if it's for the year ended 30th April 2021 or 30th April 2022, because under the straight line method, the depreciation charge on a non-current asset is the same every year over its useful life. Okay, let's take a look at part two. All right, so it says here, use the form provided below to prepare an extract showing equipment as it will appear on the statement of financial position of Patches Enterprises as at 30th April 2021, include all appropriate headings or labels. So Patches Enterprises, statement of financial position as at 30th, so therefore it's an extract from the balance sheet basically. Okay, so we know that the headings that have to go there are cost, depreciation and network value, we know it's also the non-current asset section and what goes there. So we'll put the information for equipment. As you can see, under cost, we have 18.5. Under depreciation, or if you could fit it, accumulated depreciation or provision for depreciation, we put 4,500 because it's only been one year that for which we have had the equipment. So we, could, we can only charge one year's worth of depreciation on the asset. And then the net NDV, of course, stands for net book value. And we get that by taking the cost and subtracting the depreciation to date. 18.5 minus 4.5 gives us 14,000. And that's it for this part. It was only worth three marks. And I think you get a mark for each of those items there. Okay, next item. So B part one says calculate the amount that will be recorded in the books of Patches Enterprises 
as the depreciation expense for motor vehicle for the year ended 30th April 2021. So what we are going to do is we're going to scroll up and take a read of the information that will facilitate that calculation. Okay, so what's the depreciation policy on the motor vehicle? It says vehicles are depreciated by 25% per annum using the reducing balance method. Ooh, so under the reducing balance method, we multiply this percentage by the net book value of the asset. How do we find net book value? We take the cost of the asset and we subtract any accumulated provision for depreciation existing for the asset. Let's take a look at that calculation, shall we? Okay, so we start off with the cost of the asset. We're going to subtract the accumulated depreciation thus far, which is 20000 That's going to give us a net book value of 60000 that is the value we are going to multiply by the depreciation rate, which is 25%. And that's going to give us a depreciation charge of 15,000. The next piece of the question reads, use the form provided below to prepare the provision for depreciation on motor vehicle account, as it will appear in the books of Patches Enterprises for the year ended 30th April 2021. Then it says to balance off the account at year end and bring down the opening balance for the start of the next accounting period. So we're seeing our little form here, provision for depreciation, motor vehicle, date, details, dollars, and this is only four marks. Okay, so let's scroll up so we can get the information we need to populate this T account. All right, so we're seeing that there's an opening balance for the accumulated provision for depreciation of 20,000. Now provision for depreciation is a contra asset account. What does that mean? Its function is to reduce the balance of an asset in the balance sheet. Assets have debit balances, and if the function of the contra asset is to reduce that balance, the contra asset itself has to have the opposite type of balance, and the opposite of a debit balance is a credit balance. So we're seeing the opening balance here, 20,000. Now, the depreciation we just calculated in the previous part of the question was 15,000. That's going to go on the credit side because it's going to increase the total amount of depreciation in the account. When we balance it off, now the total will be 35,000, which will also be the totals there as well. And it's going to be brought down on the credit side here as shown. Okay, so there's one more aspect to the depreciation part of this question. It says, state the amount that will be transferred to the accumulated provision for depreciation on motor vehicle account to the statement of financial position at the end of the year. So clearly this first two should have been from. So it should really read, state the amount that will be transferred from the, the accumulated provision for depreciation of motor vehicle account to the statement of financial position at 30th April 2021. Right, so statement of financial position is the balance sheet. The figure that goes in the balance sheet is the balance. So you'll see that here. The amount that will be transferred from the provision for depreciation motor vehicle account to the statement of financial position is 35000 Okay, so we have one more part of this question, which sees some ratios. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so it says Patches Enterprises provided the following information for the year ended 30th April 2021. So we have sales of 650,000, we have gross profit of 195,000, and expenses is 20% of sales. So what are we required to do? We are required to use the data for Patches Enterprises to calculate the amounts on page 13, show our working clearly. So let's see what it is we require to show. Okay, so the first thing they want us to show is total expenses for the year. So I've recreated the information up here to avoid having to scroll up and down on the, on the other side there. It says expenses is 20% of sales. So all we have to do is find 20% of 650,000, which is $130,000. Boom. The next thing they want us to find is net income for the year. Now net income is gross profit minus expenses. We could see that our gross profit is 195, we just calculated that expenses is 130. So that's going to be a relatively simple calculation. Gross profit, less expenses, as equal to net income, which is $65,000. And the last thing they want us to find is the percentage of net profit to sales for the year. In other words, they want us to find what percentage net profit is of sales. So all we have to do is take the net profit we just found of 65,000, divided by the sales figure given to us in the question of 650,000, and we'll multiply by 100, and you get 10%. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question three from the Jan 2022 POA paper two. If you have any questions on anything you've seen here, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you wanna check out any more videos, I'm gonna put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe, and be sure to check out my website for some free payway handouts you may find helpful. 
As per usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.